Jurors in the Bella Bond murder trial will leave the courtroom today to visit several key locations in the case. WBZ's Nicole Jacobs is live on Deer Island this morning with more on what was another emotional day of testimony yesterday, Nicole. It was emotional, Chris, and on Tuesday we heard tearful testimony from the woman who discovered baby Bella's body here on Deer Island. Today, jurors will tour this area and see it for themselves. Two former friends face to face again. Friends who once shared the interest of drugs, but now in a courtroom, one recalling conversations of demons. A lot of dark stuff. Overruled. About, um, talking about demons, uh, talking about evil spirits. Police say Michael Sprinsky helped them crack the case with baby Bella's mother, Rochelle Bond, confiding in him with the tale of what McCarthy allegedly did to the toddler. Sprinsky searched the internet regarding baby Doe, who washed up on Deer Island and was stunned. I recognized the, the blanket that they used to keep in the carriage. He followed up that discovery with confrontational text messages to the accused killer. I said, you betrayed me, bro. I've heard it all. I said, she told me everything. Can't stop puking. She says you killed Bella. McCarthy's response. DSS took Bella. That's what she told me. Vaughn's Dorchester neighbor also noticed a change. Bella, who had been at the home daily, was noticeably missing. I saw uh, Rochelle throwing out her toys and clothes in a garbage can in the back. The neighbor says when she confronted Rochelle about throwing out baby Bella's belongings, Rochelle reportedly said to her that they bought new things for the two-year-old. Rochelle Bond is expected to testify against her ex-boyfriend as early as tomorrow. We're live in Winthrop. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ This Morning.